Hello, Dawes Road family, and to those of you who've tuned in, welcome in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are praying for you, and we want you to be encouraged in your walk with Jesus. So in this four-minute Bible booster, let's once again turn to 1 John chapter 2, and in verse 13 and 14 particularly, we have some encouragement given to uh, those that John would describe as the young men, and it has nothing to do with age or gender. It's just, that's the, what he calls those who are striving energetically to grow in maturity in following Jesus. So he would say this in 1 John chapter 2 and verse 13, I'm writing to you, young men, because you've overcome the evil one. And then he would repeat that in the second part of verse 14. He would say this, I write to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God lives in you and you have overcome the evil one. We are winners in Christ. So if you're in Christ, you are a spiritual and an eternal winner. Now, how do we live in that framework of being a winner? Well, we need to be strong, and the Word of God needs to be very much in our hearts. What does it mean to be strong? Well, let me turn you to Ephesians chapter 6. Verse 10 would say this, Finally, finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. So it's not our strength, it's his strength. And then he would go on to say this, Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you've done everything, to stand. So that at the end of the day, if you're still standing, you're showing that you are a winner. Now, when he says put on the full armor of God, he's not talking about every day I need to put on this spiritual armor. No, he's really saying that we need to have a checklist to make sure that that armor is on. We should never never be taking this armor off. We're in battle. Every day is spiritual battle. And so that armor needs to be on. And that's the way the original uh, conveys that idea. So what are, what are those pieces of that spiritual armor we're supposed to put on? And he describes um, using the, um, uh, the equipment that a, a warrior would wear. And so he says this. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. The belt that holds everything together. And that's our integrity, the truth of God's word, the truth of the gospel. And that's how we ought to live. With the breastplate of righteousness in place, our body armor, a desire to do what is right for the glory of God. And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. So that's our, that's our combat boots. Uh, ready to go anywhere that God wants us to go to share the good news of Jesus Christ. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith um, so uh, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Um, uh, the devil is going to throw temptations at you. Life is going to have difficult situations. How do we navigate that? with our trust in God. That becomes our shield with which we can extinguish, we can thwart all the fiery darts and bullets that come our way, the shield of faith. Then take on that helmet of salvation. Look, if you don't have your helmet on, you're going to have, well, the enemy's going to take headshots at you. What does it mean to have that helmet on? It means that I'm, I'm secure. I'm confident that I'm a child of God. I'm confident that my sins are forgiven. Why? Because I'm good? No. But because Jesus died on the cross for my sins and rose again from the dead, and I put my trust in him, and I'm confident in that. In that. And then we have the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Uh, our, our weapon of offense is the precious Word of God that the Spirit enables us to use to apply to the situations that we're in. Now, there's one more piece. And that's our communication with our commanding officer, our Lord Jesus Christ. If you lose contact with Jesus, you're in trouble. Just as a soldier would be in trouble on the battlefield if he's cut off from his commanding officer. What is that communication device? It's prayer. Listen to this. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Stay strong. You are a winner in Jesus. God bless you. Christ is risen. He's risen indeed.